going on guys? Hit pause here with a tutorial on how to bake out uh, a sculpted normal map and only have it and have it be mirrored and not end up with a bunch of really disgusting seams. So it's not entirely tricky, but there is a bit of a trick to it. And let me just set the scene up here really quick. We have a T-Rex model right here. And I have left the teeth out of the model because of a just I wanted to show you guys how I was going to handle these because they're going to be uh, slightly different. So what's actually going to happen with the teeth is that I'm going to give them some detail and, and I'll end up coloring them and stuff. But I don't want a whole bunch of different UVs for them. I want them all to share the same UV space. Um, so they will. So I'm going to handle those a little bit differently. Now if you notice already that they are in fact... Um, instances of each other so if I were to take this tooth and move one of these points you can see that all the teeth have that effect happen to them right so and also if I look at the unwrap on them I've taken them and I've moved the unwrap over here to the side which in fact is actually kind of broken here so let me just weld these up like so okay so if I collapse two, I'll keep it as an editable, uh, I'll keep it as a, um, an instance. But so what I want to do is, and also I, if you can tell by the checkerboard that I've applied to him, that I've already unwrapped him too. And if we take a look at that really quick, just so we can again set it up, uh, I'll be, a, I, I got a couple of spots where I can stick these teeth should I want. But again, they're going to share UV space. So it looks like probably right about here is about the most space that I have. So I'll probably stick the teeth right in there, right around his mouth and be kind of, uh, you know, fits in a good spot. So the unwrap here is pretty good. I, I'm also, um, I've got all the nails and stuff are all uh, separated out. Those are in fact actually completely separated UVs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach all of the teeth I know I could go into the menu and do it but I just want to show you that I'm doing every single one of them and nothing else here again they're sharing UV space okay so when I come here to the unwrap what I don't want to do is just grab one here and just move the one because I leave all the others behind. So I need to make sure I drag around them so I select through and I end up with all of them here. So I just place these into position. Try to get it as large as I can in here so I can get as much detail in the teeth as I can. The nails are much larger. This is part of a nail too. You can see it's much larger than it is on the model. That's so I can have some nice... Uh, you figure if, if it's a giant T-Rex you're going to be standing at his feet. So put a lot of detail in that. Um, and yeah, so that, that looks pretty good. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll collapse two. Okay. And then I'll throw symmetry on. Okay, so now it is a symmetrical model. Now I want to illustrate the problem that can happen if you were to just send this out. And I'll do it as an OBJ because Mudbox 2014 is kind of a dick about working with FBX. The tools get really, really weird. So I'll call this T-Rex Bad. Okay, I'll hit save, I'll hit export, I'll hit done. And I'll come over to Mudbox and I will import, not UV, import my mouse. It's, I've, I had a drink that condensated on, on my mouse pad, so it is, it's like creating a suction. So we'll go recent places here, we'll grab the T-Rex and we'll do the T-Rex bad. Okay, we'll bring him in. Now when I sculpt, obviously I want to sculpt mirrored here because otherwise that's going to be a problem. So we'll mirror in the X and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the sculpt or anything like that. This isn't a sculpting tutorial. This is just to get the bake. So we'll do something uh, relatively generic. So let's just give him a couple of subdivisions and I'll hit W to get off of that and let's go to the sculpt tool. And I'll just, you know, like, um, use the wrinkle brush here. 
and I'll add some wrinkles. Again, not a sculpting tutorial, so I'm just going to do this as quick as possible. Let's give him a piece of. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And yeah, we'll give him the stuff here. Do some stuff over the back of his head. We'll make sure we do some sculpts across the border here so that we know. Okay, again, these are just kind of line representations right now and a couple of muscles and things like that. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to leave it like that. Um, let's, uh, let's just do a few. Well, let's do something like that just to indicate that there's a, because we know that there's the seam across here. Okay, so let's assume that we have given him scales and reptilian features and yada 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 yada, right? And what we'll do is we'll go over here to maps and we'll extract the normal map, okay, level 0 to level 3. We will use subdivision because it is a subdivided model and it's not going to, if we used um, ray casting, uh, potentially a piece of the arm right here can transfer to the body. Same thing here on his crotch. Uh, this can transfer over to here. The, the rays can't get in there. It's trying to cast a ray from right here and it'll hit this piece and it'll get transferred. Subdivision doesn't do that. It's a straight um, quad to quad, you know, quad to subdivided quad transition. It's much, much cleaner and you can even have overlapping geometry and it doesn't care. We'll go with a 2048 because we want decent quality. We'll just throw anti-aliasing all the way up. We'll, we'll pick 3ds Max. We want a tangent and then we will go to recent places T-Rex and we will call this T-Rex NM bad TGA and I'll hit save and we'll hit extract should go fairly quick see it down here at design bottom and it'll I did have it checked to automatically preview it as a normal map so we will see it here but um, Mudbox has a pretty terrible uh, representation of a normal map. So if we come down, page down, you can see that we've got seams pretty much at every UV joint. Now Mudbox will show seams even if you don't really have those. So the true test will be to get this in to UE4 and see how it looks there because that's going to be our final platform. So we'll call this, we'll just call this T-Rex and we'll make it an FBX and we'll hit save. OK and OK. Then we'll come here. Let's go ahead and nav to that. So we'll bring in our T-Rex to our meshes folder. I'm going to end up deleting all this anyway so it doesn't really matter should bring in the mesh. Okay, and you can see with, without a normal map on there, he looks just fine. His normals and everything are smooth just fine. Okay, and then we'll also bring in the NM bad here. Okay, let's throw this up there. Let's create a new material. MT-Rex, we'll pop that open, come here, we'll grab the mesh, and we'll stick it on, and then we'll get that texture right here, drag that up, we'll stick that in normal, let's get a color of one, stick that in base color, and as you can see in UE4, we've got seams everywhere virtually everywhere okay so we can't just bake with mirrored UVs like that right so hopefully that illustrates what's gonna happen and if you're getting this you just know you can't do what you're you know what I just did so what we're actually gonna do is something a little bit different so what we're gonna do is I'll go ahead and collapse the symmetry and I'm gonna make a duplicate of it just so I have and we're going to take this guy, and what we want to do is come into the unwrap here and select the inverted polygons, which is the entire other side, and it also includes the teeth, okay? And in this particular case, I want to get the rest of the teeth, but what we want to do is we want to move it out of this UV um, set, 
Okay, so what will happen is, now this is a little bit specific to Mudbox, okay, other bakers aren't going to really do this, but Mudbox uh, can actually distinguish, and you'll notice here that it, it actually even broke the model, okay, it doesn't know what to do with those flipped UVs anymore. So what Mudbox does is when you have a separate UV tile, it'll actually put it over here. Mudbox actually does support separate UV tiles, and it will actually number them. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake the normal map, but we're going to bake the other half of it into this area over here, which will create a, another file for us that we can essentially delete. And just as, as, as a quick um, thing, Mudbox doesn't actually know when it goes to bake this, when it does the UVs, because it does a lookup on the UVs. So when it hits this island right here, it's going to bake the left side of it, and then it's going to bake the right side of it on top. And the thing is, is we don't exactly know which one it does first, and it may or may not switch that per island. So what we can end up with is this top piece right here was baked. Notice how the U, notice how the, um, the bump is flipped. It's sticking up here, but it's poking down here. So this side baked either the left or the right, but this this piece baked the other piece because it was flipped. And being and it being flipped, like I said, causes it to invert. So that's essentially part of the problem. So the fix is we take half the model, and in this case, I'm going to include, let's go by element here, um, Okay, ignore back facing. It's clicking through kind of like a uh, like a dick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to include the teeth. Is it really going to pick up? Hmm. Interesting. All right, what I'll do is I'll include everything here and here. However, I want one of these teeth to stay behind. Okay, I'm going to keep one tooth to stay behind. And all we need to do is come over here and go to um, absolute or relative, and we highlight that, and then we just throw a one in here. And what we've done is we've moved all that stuff to a new UV. So if I pick everything here, you can see I have one side of the mesh, okay, the same side of the mesh. And let's make sure that nothing from the other side got picked up in case something got flipped on accident or something strange. It doesn't look like that's happened. Okay, nothing on the left on these pieces. All right. And now what we can do is we'll export this. Uh, I actually want to go back to the OBJ. And we will say T-Rex good okay we'll save that we'll hit export done come over to mudbox file new scene okay we'll start over essentially and we'll say t-rex good okay again we'll give it three subdivisions one two three so nobody thinks that it's how many subdivisions i gave it is the reason that it was a problem because that was not the problem and once again I'll just give it some wrinkles. Okay, do a couple of things across the back. And a dip or two. We'll give him this thing on his neck. Okay, and a couple of wrinkles down here. All right. And then yeah, we'll give him a give him an angry eye. Okay, so same gener gen same general sculpt, right? And now we'll go to maps, extract new operation because we are doing a new scene. Again, level three, same setup here. Twenty forty-eight, and the alien scene to eight. Three DS max. Come over here. We're still in T Rex, so we'll go T G A, and. I'll just call this T-Rex NM, so I'll get rid of the bad, okay? Save that. And again, let's just double check. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and preview it as a normal map. However, it's not going to really look great in here either. I, I find it hilarious that Mudbox doesn't even know how to display its own baked normal maps. I personally find that funny. Like, dude, you made it. How can you not know how to do it? 
Notice U1 V1. Okay? And what we also get is U2 V1. And you'll also see that it's blued this stuff out because this part of the normal map is uh, another UV island. Now if I want to get that back I can hit the up arrow by holding over it. So if I hit up arrow wherever my mouse is. So I can do that over here too. Okay, and I just hit plus. And again, you'll see that Mudbox doesn't know how to display its own freaking normal maps. It's still got raging amounts of seams, right? So, if we come to Unreal, and we bring in the U1V1, that's the one we want to keep. Now let me just uh, show you guys what I mean. Ah, oh, shit. Just end that process real quick. It's faster than closing the app. Okay, so let me show you what I mean here. Um, when I look at the UVs, what it is 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 U1 V1 is U1, which means the horizontal, and V1, which is the horizontal. Now you can see this yellow line here. So this is U1 V1, this is U1 V2, U1 V3, V4, V5. This is V2 okay v3 v4 v5 as you go up so right here this corner would be u2 v2 okay so this is u1 v1 u1 v2 this is u1 v2 u2 v2 hopefully that's how you can know which quadrant you're looking at it's basically u is horizontal v is vertical and it's just telling you how many far over it's gone okay just hopefully that clears that what that means up so we're going to bring in u1 v1 and we'll highlight that come here let's highlight a seam area we'll pick this and we'll throw that in takes a segundo here and ta-da seam free right across the back and everything okay and essentially this can be deleted we just used it as a garbage collector but you can see now 100% flawless bake. No seams anywhere under any circumstance for the most part, unless you've got overlapping UVs or something broken. So that is how you do it. And really, um, Unreal Engine doesn't allow for that second UV set. And what it's going to do, oops, let's just open this. What it's going to do is it's just going to normalize this. So anything over any point over here that's actually an entire exactly one point ahead, like over, is just going to get placed right here anyway. So we could actually export this guy perfectly fine. But if we're worried, we could just negative one and pull it back. And now it's exactly the same as this piece. Okay. So that's what we do. We just we we dump the flipped part of the mesh over to a second UV island or you know UV tile so that it gets it just is just garbage dumped and you could literally put I mean these UVs could be collapsed they could be broken they could be shredded they could be one zero space I mean it doesn't matter because we're throwing this away what matters is what we what we save here okay and again, Mudbox does a very, very shitty job of displaying its own um, actual, uh, you, you know, normal maps. But UE4, you know, it looks at it, and it's 100%. You can see no seams anywhere. Seams totally disappeared. All my sculpting is there. You can see the wrinkles. You can see the lumps on the back. You can even tell that if I rotate the light, that. Um, that this is dipped in and this is bumped out properly and the other side is correct as well because remember we baked a tangent space okay so if you see over here these wrinkles aren't poking out they're still dipping in okay so hopefully that gets you guys going um, for doing mirrored work and the reason if you don't know why do we bother mirroring it well keep in mind that we get twice the texture resolution if we mirror it over the other side. Now obviously you have to keep in mind that any um, 
identifying details up here are going to get mirrored across and you can end up with sometimes these weird snowflake patterns down the seam but if you're smart and careful about how you do your sculpts and how you do your textures uh, it will actually look you know still like a uh, like a correct thing for instance we could put like a, a ridge of scales right down his forehead and right down his back and it will look correct it won't look bad okay but for the most part nobody's really going to be looking at him like this you know he's going to be pretty much looking at him like this Arr! so this is hippos signing off thanks for watching hopefully that helps uh, if you have any questions let me know